what is up everyone so today I have a review on the Sony headphones these are noise canceling um, they're the WH 1000 X M threes so these are the golden standard that everyone's um, all jazzed up about so we're gonna go over basically their function the function that these offer the price point in which they come in at and whether or not they're right for you to purchase so let's get into this review and see what it's all about okay so let's touch base on the aesthetics part of it all right so there's no controls on here as you can see they're flat uh, there's no i should say uh physical buttons you could push on the sides for volume and stuff uh you got this gold um kind of brass looking um accents you know uh, the beauty trims there and then the sony branding uh, the sony branding protrudes out a little bit which makes it feel premium uh, you got your branding here where it tells you the model the headband um, this feels like fake leather headband you know your typical stuff it is pretty plush um, also you have here some brush uh, metal and then you got plastic on the inside of it okay um, so th the movement the actuation of the arms are pretty nice pretty positive uh, you got plush uh, head foam here um, these things are decently light they're not heavy at all you got more of the model branding you got the cups that pivot out uh, you got a little chamfer there that corresponds with the pivoting uh, part of the cup okay you have left and right they they say sony corporation made in malaysia digital five volts uh, lithium ion batteries uh, input so you could plug it in directly to like your phone or whatever you got power if you hold it for seven seconds upon powering it up it will go into pairing mode you got the nc ambient um, noise cancellation here and also uh, it allows you to go to google or alexa whatever you uh, pair it to all right so that's the basic overlook of what the headphones look like the swiveling motions are real touchy like they're smooth there's no like uh, binding or no clicks um, as they swivel back and forth uh, these ones are used and the way you could tell that they're used is of course they're broke here so if you look at this part of the band there should be a piece of plastic that goes over whereas this one has the full piece of plastic in there um, Bring it a little closer and I'm gonna have to send these back because this was the only problem they said was wrong with it but the reason why this is broke here so if you see a pair of headphones like that it's because someone jerked on it and pulled them directly out and broke that so that's the reason for that being broke also the inside of your cushion this feels like cheap for how much you pay for this around that 300 dollars range this feels hokey it's just a piece of fabric but it's not even plush like you can see all these like like wavy uh imprints in here around the speaker uh you got some pretty soft cushiony uh ear cups so this is what they look like uh as far as the aesthetics part of it now functionality is a whole different ball game when it comes to these headphones and some people are going to like it some people won't um so for the controls you basically swipe for volume for skip uh, I had a pair of Bluteo, um, the 12 series, and they had the same swiping headset uh, filled to them, and I did not like it at all. Um, this, to me, just feels nasty. It's kind of like an old uh, iPod, you know? Uh, it just doesn't feel premium, especially for the price you uh, pay for these. A lot of people are comparing these to the Bose uh, 700s and um, they're saying that these are better but as far as uh, phone quality they're not as good according to some of the reviews 
you also get the USB type C charging, which is pretty nice. Uh, most of your headphones are type uh, your regular USB, uh, micro USB charging uh, ports. So that's nice that they're type C. So to be fair between the two headphones, this is just a baseline comparison. So that way you have something to actually compare it to. Uh, these headphones are about $170 around that range. These ones are, you know, your $300 headphones. Um, but hands down, these headphones are way more comfortable than the Sony's. Let me get into that right now. Uh, so when trying on a pair of headphones, I don't wear them for an hour. I wear them for multiple hours, okay? And typically after that hour mark, um, you get a hot spot around the... Um, the crest of your your head the sony's the way they're designed as you can see the offset is closer to the ear cup uh foam which when you wear them it doesn't have a big gap creating a hot spot right here uh, by keeping it closer to your cranium what ends up happening is you get uh even pressure along the top of your your head uh, the ridge part of your head the crest Whereas like headphones that are out here have a wide gap and tend to push down in the center a lot more because you don't distribute that um, pressure evenly across that um, being concentric with your head as much. So they're doing this versus this. Um, so these cup your head a lot better, uh, allowing you to wear these for extensive uh, periods of time. Also, the cushion plays a big factor here in how comfortable it's going to be um, over long periods of time. Okay, now getting into why I do not like these and I like the gaming headphones or these particular gaming headphones over the Sony's. And it's not because sound quality. Sound quality, Sony has good sound quality. I think they're overhyped, just like Bose. Um, you get a lot of uh, tech for the price compared to Bose but do I think they're the best uh, no uh, I think there could be improvements of course and that's why they're gonna come out with the fourth gen um, because if there wasn't anywhere for them to improve they wouldn't come out with a new model okay but it's on this band so as you could see we were talking about uh, the how this rests on your head so this band is flexible which allows it to utilize the whole cranium part of your head uh, the crest of your head and distribute that pressure point along the whole uh, crest versus having a hot spot like the sony still only utilize the top portion of your head whereas these right here will utilize your whole head Okay, to distribute the uh, the weight. My biggest issue, uh, besides this, because both of these headbands are fairly comfortable, uh, especially this one. I could wear it for five or six hours and no pressure point, no nothing, everything's good. Uh, this one, I've worn it only for about two hours on end, and uh, it did not fatigue my head at all. But the factor of it applying the weight towards the whole cranium. Uh, actually is a thing uh, but my biggest issue when running these for more than I'd say 30 minutes my ears get hot uh, just like most headphones my ears get hot um, and the reason for that is because it has this leather uh, cup that all of them seem to use and uh, this foam and it seems like it just keeps heat in here and builds up um, so these get hot for me uh, maybe your mileage will vary but for me uh, that's an issue these headphones are phenomenal i've never once had my ears fatigue nor have i had them heat up um, this fabric here if you look closely it's real soft cushiony and it's open celled um, so it's more like a cotton shirt versus a leather shirt. Um, that's the best way I could compare it. 
okay and then these cups are um these cups here are like an egg shape and these ones are like oval oblong uh so they're wide and they're tall uh whereas these are more of an egg shape oval and so my ears do touch the sides slightly i don't have large ears but um that's something to consider is when you're looking for headphones make sure that ear cups fit your ears um so my ears will float in here i rarely feel anything uh and i think that's what helps them stay cool uh, but these hands down are the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn. Uh, even though they're gaming headphones, people will scoff at that. Uh, these by far are uh, great quality. Um, the way the pivots and everything work. Never had them break. And um, they're a decent price. And they're a multi-use multi uh, headphone. Whereas these, uh, I mean, they're expensive. And they're kind of brittle, as you could tell. They already broke, right? Never had an issue with these at all. So, to each is their own. I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for that. But these by far are way more comfortable than these. Especially at the price point. I mean, I'm blown away um, that I could get away with these over these and still be way happier. Uh, especially at the price point that these come in at. I only paid a hundred dollars for these so i'm not upset at all uh, but for those of you who buy them brand new and are spending 350 dollars for them um, keep in mind that these do get warm um, i want you to spend your money wisely and not just throw it out there and hope that every what everyone else told you is what you're gonna get also these come in different um, models uh, same overall uh, look by different models some of them are P for pc some of them are for uh your console players and bluetooth players uh, so keep that in mind uh, all right so when when you get into your app here you're greeted with all these options um, the first option is basically uh, adaptive sound control and you could select adaptive sound control and what this basically allows you to do is set the ambient noise of each position. So for starters, you have your staying position, which means that you're in one location. Uh, so you could turn on ambient sound on or off. Uh, I have it off, so that way it's noise canceling on. Okay. You click the little guy that looks like he's walking. And then that, I turned up my ambient sound to 20, so it enhances my sound around me. Uh, when I start walking and that's why when you start this app it uh, asks for your location so it knows your GPS movement uh, and it could automatically switch to these things and it does it well um, when you're running you could also adjust it so you could have half ambient on or half of it off so you could change the levels of noise reduction and you get a gradient on the image as well of how much it's going to get rid of that background noise so the animation is pretty cool as well and then you go over to transportation and then you could also uh, make those adjustments for the transportation part of it uh, and adjust those sound levels as well you could also just turn it off right there and then you have an option for focus voice which is clear um, what it does you have noise uh, canceling optimizer then you have your basically equalizer so you could set your your um how you want these headphones to sound you got outdoor stage you have concert hall you could do it off and it's like a neutral sound arena so it enhances all these different sounds that you would get at these different places um club i live on outdoor stage it sounds real good your equalizer you could change as well so you have all these different options uh, when you get your headphones just go through them all uh, it shows you whatever it's playing currently um, sound quality mo mode so you could do priority sound quality or priority uh, stable connection so if you're cutting in and out because of um, different frequencies you could change 
the priority from sound quality priority to uh, priority stable connection so that way it doesn't cut in and out um, and I mean you got just a plethora of different options you could adjust as you could tell um, you just got to go through each one uh, this button here for the NC ambient um, you could have it uh, select Google Assist or you could do Amazon Alexa so you could add like take control and basically decide what you want that button to do um, get rid of that so all that's all fully programmable uh, that's the basic features right there it gives you your battery percentage and everything and the headphones themselves uh, by far these are great sounding headphones um, would I purchase them for a hundred dollars again? Yeah, if this wasn't um, broken, um, I could deal with this being broken out. But the fact that this detaches—that's a no-go for me. I mean, it's, not, it's just not worth me uh, worrying about them, uh, especially because I do not like the way these heat up my ears. So those are going to get returned for sure. Um, would if they were brand new would i spend the 350 dollars by far hands down no uh wait for the new ones to come out um because it's just not worth you purchasing these uh these are obsolete at this point um would i prefer these over the bows i haven't tried the bows so i can't give you an honest opinion on that uh, from what i heard the bows are better for um like your orchestra style music and uh microphone and these ones are better for all around music uh, sound quality on these are great uh, noise canceling is great um, don't be blown away by noise canceling for any headphones it's not like it's going to completely put you in a silent room um, but it does get rid of certain uh, audio uh, wavelengths it'll get rid of that type of stuff and put you in a, a more confined environment uh, but like I said, I can't wear these more than 30 minutes because my ears start warming up. Also, I hate leather in general or this leather plush cushion uh, setup for all headphones because it leaves, um, especially in the summer, it'll leave a greasy um, shine to it, which is junk. And if you wear head products or hair products, I should say, uh, this will also get a shine to it. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, the... Uh, volume adjust the touch buttons this matte finish gets fingerprints all over it um, so your headphones will not be looking nice when they're actually in use uh, but as far as the feel these feel pretty premium I would say um, I like the way they're loose as far as uh, movement and um, that is situated for your head um, that's pretty nice uh, the fit and finish is really nice uh, compared to the bows um, because like i said the way it is closer to the foam ear cup and to your head it doesn't stick out uh, which is what the gaming headphones do not provide as you can see they're wider curvature so they're flat on top basically and then they come up on the sides um, so these are a lot wider profile but when they go on your head, they do fit nicely because you got this band that takes up that gap. Um, so as far as aesthetics, uh, these look way better. So that's going to complete today's tech review. Um, basically, I just wanted to get this information out there for you guys. So that way you could decide on whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned money on these. All right. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best as possible i will not have these headphones to answer any technical things um, such as audio sound quality uh, things on certain maybe uh, genres of music so uh, keep that in mind um, but that's going to complete today's video if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up it lets me know that you're into these type of tech reviews um, and definitely consider subscribing if you're not until next time i'll see you all in the next one